please don't expect anything from me. Thank you. I feel it. I feel it, and I'm grateful. Um, one of the best things about touring around and doing poetry, I used to run a little bookshop here called The Right Bloody, and the best little word house in Texas, right behind Juan and Amelia, a place where many of you have gotten diarrhea. And um, yeah, I used to have a, just a poetry bookshop. It wasn't successful uh, because we only carried the books that I made. And you think I'm joking. But uh, the best thing about touring is when you get to meet somebody and they surprise you. And I got to go to a town that you might know as the Lord's butthole. It's called Amarillo, Texas. And I was in a, did someone say, ow, ouch. And I went to a Subway sandwich shop and the sandwich artist said to me, hey, um, you, touring as a poet, that sounds a little weird. Uh, what's the best thing you can remember? What's the best feeling that you can remember? I was like, that's a cool question. Uh, we did a show on a boat and a whale surfaced. That was amazing. How about you? What's the best feeling you can remember? And he said, oh, well, at the end of my shift, I love to take one of my surgical gloves and I like to fill it with all the leftover guacamole. And then I like to take my hand and I like to slide it into that surgical glove. And then I squeeze. And then I open it. And then I squeeze. And I said to him, do you ever get lonely? And I swear to God, he said, never. I also swear that I asked him to be my keyboardist that night when I played in Amarillo, because he mentioned he played keyboards, and he did a great job with his beautiful hands on the uh, Ebony's and Ivory's. 